Hi friends. Hope everyone is fine and safe. In this video, I'm going to explain how to enable UEFI boot in Asus motherboard. Actually, this is a Asus Prime motherboard Z390A. We can see how to enable UEFI boot. By default it is enabled but somehow if we reset or some changes will happen so we can see how to enable UEFI boot so this is my PC actually I powering on we will get a a command like to press F2 or delete key to enter the actually it is powering up okay press delete key or f2 i am clicking f2 we see we can enter into the okay this is my bio screen in this section we can see that boot priority actually i have connected uh, on ssd and on dvd drive both are connected as uh, SATA and legacy board, the legacy boot is enabled. So we need to go for the enabling, how to enable the UEFI boot. Here we can see advanced option is there. I am selecting the advanced option, advanced mode. Okay, in the advanced mode several option, options are there these op all options I explained in all other videos so this one we need to select select the boot in other than in the other Asus other boards other than other boards we need to select the CSM compatibility support module this one we need to select actually the UEFI and legacy will comes inside this portion so I am opening the CSM module here we can see launch CSM okay <coughs> it is enabled while it is disabled we need to enable it first then only we can see these options boot device control here what the option selected is legacy optical ROM only so I am selecting UEFI and legacy okay boot from network devices here I am not using any network devices if you want to use boot from network devices suppose Winton or something like that then you can go for the UEFI boot uh, that not required boot from the storage devices that means from the CD drive or pen drive or all those things maybe nowadays we are mostly using that devices pen drive bootable booting boot drive pendable uh, CD DVD drive etc so this thing also I am going to select UEFI only actually PCI card uh, this thing legacy only I am not using any legacy options I am not using any PCI card here in case if you are your PCI card you want to take it as the UEFI then you can give it UEFI otherwise you can give the ignore option okay here I made the two changes boot device control is UEFI and legacy room and uh, boot device boot from storage devices UEFI only okay this is the only two changes I made then I can go to the previous menu here nothing to change just I am showing what are the contents here boot lock boot display fast boot is enabled all those things nothing to do from here actually after that we can go exit from this screen save changes and uh, reset this option we need to select save changes and reset okay once again the confirmation what are the changes i have made uh, boot device control legacy optical rom i changed to uefi and legacy optical rom boot from storage device i changed from legacy to uefi only okay this is the only change i made i'm clicking going to click ok so once again we will see in the boot option what are the boot options available while booting up we can click the F2 key to enter in the bio settings okay 
I entered the BIOS settings and now I can able to see the UEFI boot devices Once I have connected the UEFI Intel storage this is the own uh, HDD I have connected and this is the own DVD drive on yeah this is another one second hand disk I connected uh, these are the options I can available here At the same time we can go to the boot menu as well yeah here I can see the this is the legacy options available here and this is a UEFI uh, boot options available here so in this way we can change the legacy boot to UEFI or we can enable the UEFI uh, boot in Asus motherboard this is the motherboard or similar type of motherboards in Asus motherboards we can apply this changes for enabling the uefi boot hope you have enjoyed the video thanks a lot thanks a lot for watching hope it is useful for you please support subscribe and click the bell icon thank you thanks a lot